This is Twit. Um, all right, Richard Davis writes in to say, as a new listener to the show, hello, welcome to the show, Richard. I wanted to say hi and also to ask your opinions. Until last week, I was a relatively content iOS user. Wow, so you're new, new, uh, using an iPhone X, iPhone 10, which although a few years old, had always worked flawlessly. That is until last week when it fell out of my pocket while fixing my roof. Ouch. Due to tight finances, I'm not in a position to simply get another iPhone, so my partner gave me her old phone, which is a Nokia 7.1 running Android 10. Although the hardware on this uh, device seems inferior to my iPhone, he's actually composing this email on it, I'm actually growing to like Android. I can actually place icons and widgets where I choose, and I love the split screen function and much more too. Anyway, on to the actual issue. I'm extremely wary of apps in the Play Store. I mainly install apps from big developers like Microsoft, Google, eBay, etc. But I worry about installing apps from smaller developers because of malware. I read about the Cam Scanner app a year or so ago having a malware component. Do you have any advice or reassurance on calming my anxiety about malware on Android? Have I got it all wrong? Am I worrying unnecessarily? And Richard, I'm happy that you wrote in because I think this is probably pretty, I think you're not alone as far as this yeah. is concerned. There seem to be stories all the time about you know malware on the Play Store. And I don't know, my view on it is those stories are really amplify a problem that doesn't feel like it's quite as, as bad or rampant as the stories might make it seem, right? We, we used to cover them on the show uh, m way more than we do now and kind of stopped because just kind of realized like in any of the times that we're talking about these things, I've never like, God, maybe once or twice gotten an email from anyone in the 10 or 10 years that we've been doing the show that was ever actually affected by any of this stuff. Yeah. Which is not to say that there aren't victims of this sort of thing. But I think what it is is when it boils down to it, if you are a responsible uh, user of your smartphone, you're likely never going to run into this. Maybe never is the wrong word. You're probably not going to run into this if you use good, you know, good sense, your co good common sense. What yeah, do you think, Ron? I, I, yeah, I, I want to. I'll, I'll make a. We're we're an evening show, so I'll make a lightly more inappropriate blue kind of comparison, but like. I know growing up in the 80s and 90s, there was a lot of like communication and concern over STDs and like you had to be safe out there and all stuff like that. But if you're being responsible, if you're protecting yourself, if you're doing all the things, then you'll be fine, right? Like that's the that's the an al the, the kind of allegory that I kind of go with. If you're going and getting APKs from random places, if you're using rogue app stores, if you're if you're getting your apps from sketchy locations, you make yourself potentially a, a victim of malware like that's what's going to happen but google and google, the google play store has put in enough protections and have learned enough from it that you know i i feel like the same thing we've been doing this for 10 years i've never been a victim of malware you know like i it, it, and and we try a yep. lot of software and the thing is, is that that topic mm. is such a clickbaity kind of topic there's so many articles where like Three million Android users are infected by this this app. Un uninstall it right now. And I always look at those articles, and it's never any app I've ever heard of that I ever use that use. And sure, there are some exceptions. There were like remember a couple of years ago there was those what was that Cheetah or whatever that that company was yeah, where they, all the mm -hmm. yeah all all those apps were were problems. But like I I wasn't using any of those. So like uh, you know it it. Uh, yes, it's out there. Yes, it's potential. But I, I feel like if you are staying on the Google Play Store from trusted source, then you're going to be okay. That's my thought, at least. Yeah. And yes, I, mean, it, I, just it really, I just I just compared uh, apps and malware to the AIDS crisis in the 80s, by the way, in case you weren't uh, noticing. I was tracking. Yep, I got you. <laughs> it's okay, Ron. Uh, yeah, I think, I think what it does is it really illustrates the um, – kind of the the effect of these these news stories on you know not not to like put you in a group of, of iOS users but I think that there is there are a lot of iOS users who feel and are like actively like like fear Android because of this and you know yeah. to a large part it is because that is a really 
that is a really easy story to be written when something like that happens. But at the same time, I don't want to diminish that it does happen, right? Like, yes, there is a risk that something like that is going to happen. I have a good feeling though, Richard, that you are smart enough to know the difference when you look at a, at a page. Like, you're smart enough to know that, you know, a company like Microsoft, Google, and eBay, they're not gonna give you, uh, knowing to, knowingly to themselves, they're not gonna give you an app laden with malware. There are certain checks in place that, you know, have to pass your kind of sniff test in order to install an app. Take those checks and apply them to other apps that you see. When you look at, at screenshots, does it give you a good feeling when you look at those screenshots? Because sometimes you can look at screenshots and you're like, there's no way in hell I'm installing that app. Like, what, what is going on here? That It just looks sketchy. Or when you take a look at the comments and you realize the comments or the reviews, you know, they're, they're all basically the same thing but uh, worded slightly differently. You know, th there's just these certain clues that make it, I, I don't know if it protects you 100%, but it gets you pretty darn close. Like Ron was saying, we've reviewed thousands of apps on this show, which means we've installed thousands of apps over the years on our devices. And I've never once encountered this. So it's an easy story to write in the same way that you know it's it's easy to write the same story about you know PCs back in the day being laden with with malware and and everything like that um you just got to use common sense and uh i think you'll be okay <laughs> i think you're going to be okay you're going to find that you're going to install a lot of apps and you're going to be all right but there is no 100% i'm sorry i can't give you a guarantee yeah. it never is i hope uh, yeah be yeah. smart okay yeah. be smart and welcome to Android. It's really not scary over here. It's not. They like to say that it is, but it's not. You're okay. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. And thanks for watching and, and uh, emailing us. We do appreciate it.